Be fair, lay down. <laughs> Can I please put that on you? Wait. Keep on. Stay still from the thumbnail. What are you doing? Can you stay still from the thumbnail? <laughs> There you go. Okay. You didn't even eat it? Girl, if you only stay safe for this thumbnail, I swear to God. I swear to God. There you go. <laughs> You're so annoying. Hi. Um, welcome to Kelpie. I know it's been like forever since I posted my last video. Um, there's just been so much that's been happening. Like, I, I moved out of my last place. I lost, like, two people who, like, I loved so much. Not, like, by death or anything. We just, like, this, those, those relationships don't exist anymore. Um, I don't know. I moved. I think I said that already. I'm moving soon again. Um, I met, like, the love of my life. Like, there's just, like, so much stuff that's been happening. And, like... I honestly, I think I just got burnt out. Like, I had so many ideas. Like, the Zodiac series, I think that's where I last, what I was last starting off on um, with my last video. Just, of uh, like, life happening, and then it just got hard to get into the swing of things. And then, like, my best friend stole my tripod, so next time I see you, it's fists. But, you know, there's just been so much stuff that's been, um, that I've been using as excuses to not record. Um, but, I don't know, it's just hard to, like, it's hard to explain because I'll have like all these ideas and I have like all these things that I want to do. But then I get burnt out because I'm like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, and I want to do that. But I'm like, because I have all these things that I want to do, I like don't do anything. You know what I mean? But yeah, videos are coming soon. I have ideas in the making. I know I just talked about all the ideas, the ideas I just had, but um, I'm more organized now. I am in a better mental headspace. I'm in a better organizational headspace. Um, so. I am excited for the future, so I hope you guys stick with me. I know I've been pretty inconsistent in the past, but I really hope you guys stick with me. And if you do, thank you so much. And if you don't, thank you so much for your views. Thank you so much for everything that you've done already. Um, but I I feel really excited. Today is just going to be a spontaneous, just, you know, go with the flow kind of video. Um, I want to make cookies. I want to make pumpkin cookies specifically because it's like fall and it's a cute idea. And it's on theme. So I want to make... Um, pumpkin cookies, I want to call them pumpkin paws, so I'm going to like, uh, make them in the shape of a paw, and then I have some leftover chicken bones, so I'm going to, um, boil down, make a broth out of it, and then I want to make, like, gelatin out of the leftover bones, so I can, like, kind of put them in the inside of the, um, the, the paw. We have, our oven doesn't work, so we recently bought a, um, like an air fryer oven thing, like, combined, so I want to just, like, play around with that, see if I can, like, make these cookies. Also, I suck at baking, like, I'm the worst baker, so this would be, like, especially fun for me <laughs> to see, like, how good I am, or see how bad I can feel. Great. But, yeah. Thank you so much for everyone watching this, and everyone, like, who's been supporting me so far. I'm, I am, um, in school to get, like, my vet degree. I'm, like, pursuing this, so that I am doing a lot of things behind the scenes, so I might, like, if it looks like I'm just, like, being stagnant i'm not i'm just working behind the scenes but i am trying to get better on um, staying on top of like the visual like public interface of this all but yeah okay let's get started okay so i have to go to the store later today to buy some um favorite food because i ran out so right now i'm just making them a quick snack it's just um a couple eggs some salmon oil and some duck fat um they've been eating raw food every now and then so I'm comfortable with giving them eggs but if you're starting off um salmon oil is really good to like kind of encourage them to like like the taste and then I, st I started off with raw eggs and now they can eat like raw chicken breast um with no issues but yeah I'm just making this for them real fast because I ran out of dry food so okay after stirring it this is what the final product looks like I mean, I think it looks nasty, but the ferrets don't, so that's all that really matters.
I've been mixing in this pumpkin puree into Cupid's food. The brand doesn't really matter. I chose this one because it's only pumpkin, and so it doesn't have any like sugars nor extra additives. Of course, it'd be best to use guts from a real pumpkin, but canned versions are good too. I use it because it adds vitamins and moisture and fiber, and it's also naturally sweet, so it acts as a nice like enticing topper. Okay, so I forgot to press play, so I'm missing most of my cookie footage. Um, also, the bone marrow wasn't soft enough, so I had to cook it down for an additional two days after this. This video wasn't planned, so I'm not too upset that it's not this organized, um, but I will be remaking this recipe, this cookie recipe, to have its own designated video, because I think this idea is actually like pretty cool as shit, and people really enjoyed it, so, um, yeah. I just realized I didn't record anything at all, which is fine, but this is what I used, um, like a forkful of honey, um, a teaspoon of duck fat, one cup of flour. It was all purpose. Um, what else did I use? I used like four teaspoons of pumpkin and some water from the broth that I'm making that's going to be used for like as the, the bone gelatin inside, which I don't think is going to be done in time. But this is what the mixture looks like. I have set the little baby oven to 375, which is preheating now. So I'm about to shape the dough, and I think I can probably make like four, so if this is more than what I expected I can make. But I'm going to shape the dough, and then I'm going to plate it, and then, yeah. So, yeah. You know like when you're cooking something like real, real good, and it makes the entire house smell like, like delectable? It smells like bland, <laughs> non-seasoned food in here. Let me see if I can turn the light in the oven and see what it looks like. But it smells so unseasoned in here. I mean, they're baking. <laughs> In this instance, they're baking. Hopefully it turns out good. It's going to turn out good because my dog likes pumpkin, so she's going to love this. But it smells so basic in here right now. So this is the final product. I cooked it for nine minutes and they turned out really soft. I tried making an icing out of leftover pumpkin, honey, and chicken stock, which turned out really messy and not worth it. She liked it but she also equally liked it without the icing, so I feel like it was just more of an aesthetic thing. Next time I make this though, I'm going to have the bone marrow inside, and then I also want to try to make the icing cuter, and then play around with the cookie's texture. Um, but thanks for watching my vlog. There are two more videos I have planned for this month, as well as an article on cold-blooded animals that should be out by Halloween. The link to my website is in the description box below. There I have posted all the recipes for all the um, videos I have made. And I also have um, uh, articles and just general pet animal nutrition. Thanks again for watching and bye.